You can only stay on the sidelines for so long. These are unprecedented times. And it seems like every day, the rule of law is being eroded little by little. And frankly, I'm sick of it. So I'm going to do something about it. I'm suing the White House, the CIA, the Department of Justice, and a whole bunch of others. This is not a joke, this is actually happening. Let me give you some background. You might recall that back in January, President Trump was impeached and he was facing a trial in the Senate. Article one is adopted. And one of the people that seemed to have a lot to say about the particular charges that were levied against the president was former national security advisor, John Bolton. And in what can only be described as an act of pure cowardice, John Bolton refused to testify before the Senate and instead decided to write a book with his observations and presumably the things that he would have testified to at the Senate trial of the president. I didn't think the Democrats had the wit or the political understanding or the reach. Now that's problematic for a whole host of legal and moral reasons. But one of the legal issues is that as a former national security advisor, in order to publish a book, Bolton had to go through an onerous pre-publication review process. During the course of that review process, the government would likely take out a whole bunch of information that it doesn't want to be published. And I didn't trust the government to do that pre-publication review and censoring of John Bolton's book in good faith under normal circumstances, but doubly so when we're talking about things that strike at the heart of our democracy and the president's impeachment trial. So back in February, I filed some FOIA requests against the National Security Council, the CIA, the Department of Defense, the Department of Justice, the Department of State, basically anyone that would have possibly gotten a copy of John Bolton's book and had something to say about it. Now, normally under this review process, the government can simply say that this portion of the book is classified and therefore it cannot be published. And there's some back and forth, but there's nothing that forces the government to really provide reasoning for the demands that they're making. And in some circumstances, the government doesn't even need to claim that the things are classified, just that they are prohibited from being disclosed. So who knows what they prevented Bolton from saying? So the point of Legal Eagle's FOIA requests was to obtain or at least force the government to properly process these redactions under FOIA. Information that the government was attempting to prevent John Bolton from publishing in his book. And we also sought to obtain information about what process the government was using. Were there any political considerations in terms of preventing John Bolton from saying certain things? And did the government prevent him from saying unclassified information that he had a right to say because it was politically damaging? Not surprisingly, the government has stonewalled our FOIA requests. So we're filing suit. We are suing the government, the White House, the CIA, the Department of Justice, the Department of Defense, the Department of State, and a whole host of other federal government agencies to find out what they prevented John Bolton from saying. The goals are simple, to force the government to disclose the information that it didn't want John Bolton to disclose to the public, to either force them to uh, unclassify the information, to uh, admit that it was never classified in the first place, and at the bare minimum, to force them to explain why and how that information is classified and why it cannot see the light of day. This is actually what happened when Jason Leopold of Buzzfeed filed a FOIA request and eventually a lawsuit to enforce that FOIA request for the original Mueller report. We got a lot more information about the vague redactions that the DOJ had actually done to the initial release of the Mueller report. And we found out that a lot of those redactions were completely improper. And because I don't necessarily trust the government to have conducted a good faith investigation in this particular case, we also want the correspondents to know who was making this decision, why these decisions were made. And as I covered in my other video on the whole John Bolton case, the timeline doesn't line up here because allegedly one of the government employees cleared John Bolton's entire book for publication, only to have that decision changed at the last minute by a political appointee. A political appointee who had basically zero training in terms of overclassification. It's entirely possible that this whole process is rife with political machinations designed to hide the White House from unflattering information that should see the light of day. So because the government has stonewalled our requests, we're filing suit.
We're going to ask a federal judge to enforce our demands, to make sure that the government complies with them and to disclose this information. This is not a stunt. This is not a joke. We are actually filing a federal lawsuit to enforce our FOIA requests as we are entitled to do. And like any good lawyer, I have teamed up with some of the best national security lawyers in the country. Specifically in this case, I am working with the National Security Counselors, which is a nonprofit organization, and their executive director, Kel McClanahan, who has more experience with FOIA requests and FOIA litigation than probably anyone else. And we're committed to taking this to the mat. We want people to be actively engaged and we want people to have the information that is important about their government. Democracy only works when the people are informed and have access to the information that is critically important. And if the Senate isn't going to give the president a fair trial when it comes to impeachment, then the only check on executive power is at the ballot box. The primary way that we uh, reign presidents in is not through impeachment, it's through elections. And that only works when people have the necessary information, including the information that the government doesn't want its citizens to have. So this will be the first in a series of videos that chronicles the adventures of suing the federal government to disclose information that probably should have been disclosed in the first place. This would not be possible without the help of the National Security Counselors. There's a link in the description to be able to donate to the National Security Counselors, which is a 501c3, so your donation is tax deductible. And it would mean the world to us if you would consider donating to the cause because lawyers and litigation are expensive and we are committed to taking this thing as far as it needs to go because we believe that this cause is just and no one else is going to do it. And any donations made above the cost of this litigation will go towards the other charitable work that the National Security Counselors do, which includes, but isn't limited to representing whistleblowers, representing journalists and FOIA requests, suing to strike down anti-transparency policies and practices, and advocating for pro-transparency and accountability reforms in the law and the government. And it'd be great if this was not a one-time thing. I'm hopeful that this lawsuit will create real and lasting change, or at least be able to disseminate important information related to the heart of our democracy. But it would also be great to be able to right other injustices and to be able to uphold the rule of law in other contexts. So I'm hopeful that this won't be a one-off thing and that Legal Eagle can create some law, not just explain it. So to you, Legal Eagles, I thank you for your support. And until next time, I'll see you in court. This time, literally.